A new medical drama is coming to NBC and it's called Brilliant Minds. It's all about a doctor with an unconventional approach. Take a look. This is Dr. Wolf, our new neuro attending. Of course, uh, I've heard a lot about you. I haven't heard about you. Nichols is our chair of neurosurgery. He performed the procedure on Hannah. Who hasn't had a single seizure since I operated, so why yes, are you... but you did turn her into the woman who snubs her kids. <sighs> it's expected post-op brain edema. She'll be back to normal in a week. That's unlikely. She has severe selective emotional detachment. It wasn't my job to make her a good mother. It was my job to cure her epilepsy, and I succeeded. But by all means, keep wasting your time. Uh, hospital resources. <sighs> Do I ever have to talk to him again? Yes. Unfortunately, your new job requires working with people who won't always recognize your genius. We're joined by two of the stars of the show, Zachary Quinto and Tambra LaPerry. Good morning, and thank you both so much for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, we know the series Brilliant Minds will be based on a doctor and his medical team, but there are some twists. Can you guys set the scene for the show for us? I mean, first of all, um, the character I play, Dr. Oliver Wolf, is actually based on a real life person, Dr. Oliver Sacks, who lived and worked in the mid to late 20th century and was a renowned neurologist and also a very prolific author. He wrote a lot about his patients. So um, many aspects of the character I play, as well as the cases we explore in the show, are drawn from his real life experiences, even though the show is a modern day fictional retelling of, uh, of those stories. Um, you know, we're dealing with neurological diseases, disorders, injuries, and conditions, um, many of which don't have a fix or a cure. So um, oftentimes our doctors and patients are exploring how to adapt and evolve and to find purpose and meaning in their lives, even in the face of great adversity. Yeah, I can I can already see it playing out. Now, what else can you tell us about the roles that you two play, especially as they relate to each other? Sure. Uh, I play Dr. Carol Pierce. Um, I am a longtime friend and colleague of uh, Dr. Oliver Wolf. She's one of the most sought after uh, psychiatrists in New York, but she chooses to stay in the Bronx at Bronx General. Um, she recruits Dr. Wolf to her hospital, Bronx General, so that can create sort of this uh, neuropsychology dream team um, to help patients who uh, otherwise seem hopeless or deemed hopeless by other people. So do the- so it's a lot of fun. We have a great relationship. Our, our friendship is really strong. We're loyal to each other. It's, it's great. Okay, because I was going to ask, is there kind of like a pull and tug sometimes with special cases and that sort of thing? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Carol and Oliver um, don't always see things from the same point of view, but they always respect each other's points of view. And so um, I think there's a real trust um, and a real loyalty between these two characters who are also, you know, they're both based on real life people. So Carol Pierce is based on a doctor called Carol E. Burnett. Um, and she and Oliver Sacks in, in real life were um, dear friends and collaborators and colleagues over the years. Um, and so I think this, this relationship on the show represents that degree of trust and uh, and loyalty and affinity and love. I mean, I think Carol and Oliver really love each other and that's not hard to play because I absolutely adore Tambrilla. And we do, we have a really good time telling these stories. And, you know, particularly at this moment in the world and in our society, to be a part of stories that um, hopefully will offer audiences some sense of hope and also maybe some sense of seeing themselves in the stories that we're telling, um, that feels particularly special right now, actually. And, uh, and a lot of the feedback that I've gotten on the show so far is that that's the experience that audiences seem to be having. And I, and I hope that that's true. You know, I've always said, if, if audiences see themselves in these stories and in these characters, then we're doing our jobs Most definitely. and uh, and that's that's really the goal. Yeah, that's what we're all looking for to see ourselves being reflected back to us. Well, thank you both so much for joining us this morning and congratulations on the new show. Thank, thank you. you so much. Same. Have a great day. Same to you. Brilliant Minds premieres Monday, September 23rd at 10 o'clock right here on Local 4.